Dare to play. Dare to play. Can y'all hear it? Is it too loud? Is it good? I have one more month from 69. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> Wolf, it's okay. <laughs> save, save for a house. It's all good. Ooh, Trail of the Twista. Whoa! It looks so old. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke I don't around. Know if you want to know the particulars of how I do what I out. do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? We just finished this one. This one was so fun. I like this one. Good job. This is the one that was canceled. And now we're on to Trail, trail of the Twista. I think we're, um, hold on, I wanna move, make my can a little bit smaller, cause it's huge. Um, I haven't played this one. Well, this one came out in 2000 and, I'm gonna look it up. Also, I totally got distracted hearing the uh, <laughs> lawn mowing in the background. This one came out in 2010. 20, 2010, guys. 2010. Jeez. That's such a long time ago. Uh, anyway, I was saying something, but I literally just lost my train of thought. Oh, well. Uh, oh, this one's based off in Oklahoma, I think. We're going to be in Oklahoma, guys. P.G. Krollmeister has hired me to investigate a series of equipment meltdowns that have been plaguing the prominent Oklahoma Storm Research team he sponsors. Since his team has been expected to win the $100 million grant at stake in the upcoming Green Sky Storm competition, Krollmeister suspects that there is something far more sinister than simple equipment failure going on. Ah, I'll be joining the team undercover, replacing their previous intern, Pete, who wound up with a broken leg after one of the accidents stranded him directly in the path of a storm. Stepping in at the most dangerous and chaotic period of the chase season, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me to stay on top of the sabotage and the storms. We're gonna be chasing friggin' tornadoes. I am so scared of tornadoes. I think it's just because that's like the most natural Phenomen uh, weather phenomenon that can happen near me. Like, I've never really experienced earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, really. But, like, tornadoes? I have. I've seen how destructive they are and how deadly they can be, especially back in 2008, there was a tornado that hit really close to my home. Like, I want to say, like, mm, ten, five minutes, five minutes away. Um... But luckily, we were obviously not in the path of the tornado. So then when I woke up the next morning, I, and to like, because I was going to school, right? I woke up the next morning, and I drove to school, and I drove through. They hadn't even had time to, like, clean anything up. And it was, oh, my God, it was so many houses were torn down, and, and that's when my friend lost her house. Oh, it was so bad. Oh, I remember that. It's t terrified me, and it happened at night. It's like crazy because you can't even see the tornado. You can only see the tornado when it like, like, uh, uh, hits like the power lines. Like when it destroys the power lines because then you can see like the, the, you can see it. It produces light, right? Ugh. Man. So tornadoes are so terrifying to me. Mainly just because I've experienced them. And then hearing the sirens go off. Tornado sirens are scary, man. They're scary. They sound like Silent Hill sirens. And they are so dangerous and unpredictable. You don't know where, what's going to happen, where you're going to go. And then if you're sleeping, you don't even know to take cover. Because you're sleeping at night. Like what? I've always wanted a tornado shelter just to be safe. They're so scary. Yeah. I don't even know if that tornado were to hit my house. I would have been... I would have been in deep poop because my room is on the top floor and there's like no place on the top floor that would be safe. It would, it would be, I think the place my mom said that we 
we would go to if, if we knew a tornado was coming would be in the bathroom um, that's at the back of the house, but pff, pff, ugh, terrifying. Anyways, um, now let's play a game about tornadoes. <laughs> Yay. Ugh, scary. Junior. Always junior. <laughs> oh, see it look terrifying. I mean, I whoa, oh been my so gosh. Bad. Oh my god! Well, that was nice of that tornado to just, uh, pass the house. <laughs> Whoa! It's raining! Oh. I have to go this way. Let's go in the house! Oh, clean up the garbage. That's a oh. weird piece of debris. Is it? Whoa! It's filled with money. I want to say that's an amazing piece of debris. Once again, amazing job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. Ooh, somebody's getting paid. I better paid. take this and see who it somebody's belongs to. Somebody's getting paid to do dirty work. Ooh, that's a lot of money, though. Man, she's gonna... Oh my god, we're in the yeehaw world, aren't we? What is this? Hello, Nancy. Sorry we missed you. We're out chasing. The wind shear readings are strong enough that there may be a possible tornado forming to the north. Until our return, I'd like you to familiarize yourself a bit with our operation. Please take the tornado quiz on the computer in the cellar. Don't worry, we don't care how you score. <gasps> tornado quiz? Oh, I wonder if I know a lot. Also, there's a stack of papers in the dining room that needs to be filed away in the cabinet. You'll have to use my ordering system but I've left notes for you on how it works and you'll want to drive down the street to Mom and Pa's general store to meet Pa. There's a GPS in the car. You'll like him. He's quite the character. Thanks for filling in last notice. I look forward to meeting you in person, Debbie. All right, Debbie. Uh, she's already putting me to work, but keep in mind, I am an intern. I am Nancy the intern. So, Nancy intern. Um. I want to take the quiz. What is this? Why is... Oh, a penny. Sincerity. In Pa We Trust. What? Is that like Ma and Pa's currency? Oh, a TV. Oh. With the Milan premiere only weeks away, we'll travel to Paris, France to take a sneak peek at Madame McKay's latest evening wear sensations. Then we'll hop the pond to London and preview Lady Chauffeur's Previously on Attorney General. I never asked to be a force. Attorney General. General. Next week on the season finale of Heights General. Dang, their TV sucks. Boo. I need to. I need to watch my Korean drama while I'm here. I guess that's not gonna happen. Is this my... I can't go to bed yet. Oh. Just looking upstairs, Nancy. Oh, is this where the tornado quiz is? And yeehaw we trust. I think you need a new antenna. I don't know how to get Maybe we need one. They were talking about fashion week. What's this? Storm weather symbols. Mist. Oh man, guys, we're gonna be we're gonna be learning today, chat. We're gonna be learning today. Visible lightning, no thunder. Thunder heard, no precipitation. Tornado or funnel cloud spotted. Ooh. Severe dust storm or sandstorm. That makes it easy. It's an S. Quotation marks. Light drizzle, continuous. Uh, three quotation marks. Moderate drizzle, continuous. Four, heavy drizzle. Light rain, light rain, intermittent, continuous, moderate rain, heavy rain. I'm gonna have to know this later. Light rain, no, light hail, no thunder. Light or moderate thunderstorm, rain only. Uh, cause thunder was heard. And it was raining, light rain. Oh, I see. Hail. Mmm. It's all like combined. Anyways. 
All right, I don't want to do the quiz yet. Sassy detective. <laughs> what? Just in from Germany. 2008. Nearly brand new 2008. Peregrine. Mileage fully loaded, zero to 60 in mere seconds, only $43,900. Come down and test drive today before it flies out of the lot for good. Drives like a dream, if only. Would y'all want this car? It's from Germany, 43,000. Mileage is only 1,394. 2008. That, but keep in mind, this game came out in 2010, so that would only be two years old. So, in Nancy Drew terms, it's new. <gasps> mice! I agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. That poor little mouse. Nancy, why are you scared of the mouse? <gasps> What's this? Thank you. Oh my god. See, Nancy, I think my dream one day is to be put in Nancy in a Nancy Drew game. Because this, they, she probably won something to be put in this game. Ah, oh, she probably won a competition or something. How cool, man. Gosh darn it. I want to be put in a Nancy Drew game. I'll do it for free, too. It's okay. You can use my photo. Like, look, that's literally it. That, that was literally it. I can't even click on anything else in here. So, what is this? Surface charts. Oh, these are the thingies. Okay. I'll probably need to know that for later. Um, what else is in here? Is there anything I can click on over here? No. Was this it? Can I click on these photos? <gasps> what about this TV? Or not TV. Computer. <laughs> Can't click on it. All right, let's take the test. All right, guys, quizzing time. Let's see how good we are. Oh, gallery. Ah. Oh. Ah. Beautiful. Oh. Wow. Amazing. Toys. Okay. I'm sure those codes won't mean anything at all. <laughs> of course not. Duh. Hi, Annihilation. Thank you for the 82 months. I'm usually on top of these, but this month's been crazy. Preparations for my wedding in five months. Oh, that's so awesome. And yeah, that is a lot of planning. Congrats, Annihilation. Wow, only five more months? Wow, that's exciting. Thank you for the 82 months, Annihilation. Ooh, that's exciting. This is the game my niece just played. She kept saying that they needed a cat because of all the mice. Your niece is very smart. <laughs> all right, here we go. Twister trivia. Start quiz. The weather service will issue what type of alert when a tornado has been spotted? Tornado watch? Tornado alert? Tornado warning, tornado arrival. I should know this. So when a tornado has been spotted, so that means it's already on the ground. So it's not a watch. I think it's a tornado alert. Yeah, not a warning. It's an alert. B. It's incorrect. Tornado warning then? Oh. Well, what's the alert? What's the difference between an alert and a warning? It's not even a warning. It's literally like, there's a tornado on the, well, I guess that's the thing. Tornado means the tornado has been confirmed on the ground or that Doppler, man, I should know this. I get freaking alerts all the time saying tornado alerts and, wait, no, I get a tornado watch and alerts. Never warnings though. Maybe that's why I get confused. Dang it, I'm already going to fail. Maybe this will finally teach me the difference between a watch and a warning. It didn't tell me what a watch was. Oh, never mind, never mind. A tornado watch is issued when conditions for tornadoes or severe weather to f are to form are possible. Okay, so that's if it's possible. Have a weather radio on hand in case the power goes out. But it didn't tell me about an alert. Alert is probably when it's heading for some buildings. I don't think so. Whatever. Fine. 
I'll get the next one right. How many tornadoes are recorded on average each year? I don't know. I don't know. Probably like a lot. Maybe a thousand. Never fifteen hundred. A thousand. I knew it. Also, that's a lot. The majority of tornadoes occur in the area known as Tornado Alley, which partially includes Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois. Weather in this region offers ideal conditions for tornado tornadoes to form, particularly during peak season for late, from late winter to early spring. That is true. We literally had a tornado happen on Christmas. Christmas. It's crazy. Or it was Chris the day after Christmas, actually. The day after Christmas, but still. Though most common in Tornado Alley, tornadoes have occurred in every state. It is true. Hate tornadoes. Tornadoes are measured using what system? Category is hurricane. F. F scale. F. Right? F. 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 Yeah. Invented by Dr. T. Theodore Fujita. The Fujita scale, or F scale, categorized tornadoes into five ratings from F0, which is minor winds of 48, 45 to 78 miles per hour gusts producing light damage, broken tree limbs, to F5, destructive gusts of 262 to 317 miles per hour and total destruction. Houses completely removed from foundations. As of February 1st, 2007, the new Enhanced Fujita Scale, or EF Scale, has been implemented. The new EF Scale, oh yeah, not to confuse it with E Scale, EF Scale, better accounts for type of building materials and structures, a destroyed mobile, mobile home ranks, and EF2. When rating the tornado's wind speed, something previously ignored in the original F Scale, ratings are only given to tornadoes after damage has been assessed. Yeah, I guess you can't really assess what big of a tornado or what or how much damage it's going to do after, until after, but then, yeah, I don't know. How do they know how fast it is in terms of the gusts? Can they know? Can they throw something in the tornado and then it'll see? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, next question. The least safe place to seek shelter in a public place, such as a theater or mall during a tornado is a storm shelter. It says the least safe place. Probably a large room. Yeah. <laughs> large open areas such as auditoriums or gyms should be avoided. The lack of roof support makes these areas susceptible to collapse during a tornado. I didn't think of that. Public areas should have designated storm shelters available, either a specific shelter or a reinforced interior bathroom or corridor. Usually the bathroom. Um, a storm shelter is the best place, but not all places have that. Man, we are going to be an expert when it comes to tornadoes after this game. How do you scale a massive tornado that never hits anything then? Yeah, I don't know. They send in a dude with a measuring device. <laughs> oh, on the radar. That would make sense. In, pre in preparation for an emergency, every family should have a tornado plan in place. And this item. A party kit. <laughs> a cleaning kit. A disaster kit. Yes. Disaster kit contains essential supplies in case of emergency. I don't have a kit. Uh, I have water. I have party. I have a party kit. <laughs> uh, including pets. It, items from basic staples, household tools, to first aid kits should be included. Items such as water, sugar, salt. Why sugar? Sugar, salt, granola bars, batteries, flashlight, can opener, toothpaste, duct tape, and bleach. Full recommended list can be obtained at local emergency management offices. Why bleach? But okay. I don't have this. I, I think that would be wise to get that. But wait, why bleach? Why keep, <laughs> keep your whites clean? <laughs> I don't think that's why. There's probably a really good reason. 
But I don't know. Um, also, why sugar and salt? I don't... Disinfectant? Bleach? True? Yeah, okay, maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe that's it. Ble disinfect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking of laundry. <laughs> That's dumb. Which of the following is not ind indicative of a possible tornado? Greenish looking sky, a hook echo on Doppler radar, downburst rotating clouds. What is not indicative? Maybe this? Not everybody has a freaking Doppler radar. Okay, never mind. What's a downburst? So, does the sky really turn green during a tornado? I guess so. A downburst is a different type of severe weather event. In a downburst, all of its winds flow out, whereas a tornado's winds flow onto, into the tornado itself. Downbursts are difficult to predict and can cause severe damage due to I don't think I've ever heard of a downburst before, but okay. Like you don't want your blood sugar levels to get low? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you don't like, if you don't have any food, that's true. You can use it to, pu you can use bleach to purify water? Interesting. Cash to tip the tornado as it leaves. <laughs> In case you can't charge your water bottle. I know. Adam, did you see this? Tom got me a freaking self-purifying water bottle. Like, look, watch. It's purifying it now. Even though it doesn't, it's already purified. I don't really understand how it works, but whatever. On average, what percentage of tornadoes each year rank as either an EF4 or EF5? I would say low percent right like probably low right because these are really destructive tornadoes do we want to say one percent or five percent i feel like it's on the lower end right i know right adam i don't know how it works though well there's a light right there so i guess that's the light i don't know though Tastes the same to me. <laughs> Hi, Diaz. But I'm using filtered water from my refrigerator. So. <laughs> Hi, Kurt. I know this is a long quiz. Sorry, I'm taking too long. Oh, I'm right. 1%. Only 1% 1 of tornadoes in the U.S. are ranked as devastating EF4, EF5. The majority, about 80%, are EFO or EF1. The highest record wind speed in a tornado was recorded during May 3rd, 1999, Oklahoma City storm. It clocked it at 318 miles per hour. Jeez, how many questions? What causes the most injuries during a tornado? Flying debris. I knew that. While the extreme high winds are dangerous, nothing compared to the flying debris being carried by them. At speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour, common household objects picked up by the tornado become deadly missiles. Oh, I did it. I got six out of eight correctly. Okay. All right, I did it. Nancy, is that you? Oh my God, yes, that scared that's me. me. Scott wants like, to meet you. It's like, Be why right can't there. I move? All right, Nancy Andy. Drew, you made it. I'm Scott Varnell, the person in charge of this meteorological train wreck. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Are you the person? Oh, Are you the person I'll be reporting to? You'll be reporting to Debbie. But make no mistake, I call the shots around here. Ever seen a real tornado, Nancy? Well, yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse, it wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. Well, isn't that just peachy? We spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. We're never gonna win this thing. Look at his calendar. The school's gonna pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's gonna be all she wrote. And it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. But now that you're here, maybe our luck will change. Two things you need to do right off the bat. I gotta give a workshop on tornado preparedness at the junior high school next week, so put a sample disaster kit together for me. 
If anything's missing, go up the road to Ma and Pa's and get it there. Disaster kit. We're making a disaster kit. Uh, I remember that one. Wait, you remember which one, Cat? Stop yelling, Scott. Just chilling down here with your basement laptop on your washing machine desk. <laughs> How do they not notice a tornado in their yard, though? Because they were gone. They said that they were out chasing tornadoes, which you would have thought that. I don't know. They're blaming it on the equipment. What goes into a disaster kit? Bleach. Look, you're here because that rich uncle of yours said you could do the job, so be a little resourceful and just do it, okay? If you need a nanny, have your uncle send one. We don't have the budget. Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to place them so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. Pretty big you job have questions for an about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Oh my god, he looks like a conspiracy theorist kind of person instead of a tornado chaser. What's this? Gone with the wind. A town says goodbye to Ma. That's nice. It's a lot of reading. I'll come back to it if I need to read it. They said goodbye. Wait, does that mean Ma's dead from Ma and Pa? Betsy. Large memorial. So I guess Ma did die. That's sad. <gasps> In addition to heartfelt farewells to Ma, its message is simple. Hurry back, Pa. We miss you. Under the sign. Aw. While residents struggle with Betsy's loss, one disturbing question, why did this, why didn't the sirens go off? Okay, so I guess the tornado killed her. Oh, that's sad. Dang, Ma. Oh, what's that? Is that, is that food? Is that food? He's feeding the mice. No wonder there's so much mice. Oh, what's this? That's a lot of words just to be a jerk, Scott. This is nice. Looks like vomit. No, it looks like seeds. <laughs> I mean, it could be vomit. Ugh. Man, he has a he has a very or unorganized. That tornado you just saw. What'd you think? What do you mean? Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? Actually, that tornado is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I can't wait to see another one. Now that's what I like to see. I <laughs> wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm out of my students these days. Between you and me, the last few years I've gotten stuck with the worst students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. Before they defunded my department, I got the best of the best. Students who really cared, like Debbie. But those days are over. That must really be disappointing. <sighs> what are you, like, 18? Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... I know you meant well. Anyway, good news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. You may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope so. I can smell his office and I don't like it. Man, what a bad attitude. Ooh, what's this? Oklahoma. Do you think that's why the Oklahoma piece was missing in that last game we played? Because it was like a hint, like a teaser, like, oh, look. Broken Bow. Oh my god, I've been to Broken Bow. Broken Bow's nice. Has nice cabins there. All right. Oh, is this Debbie? Nancy, hi. You've hi. met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. Okay. Do you know why he's in such a bad mood? <laughs> Do you know why Scott is in such a bad mood? <laughs> I've worked with him for the past five years, and believe it or not, that's his normal mood. When he's in a bad mood, yikes. Ooh. Girl, you don't need to be tolerating that behavior. Sounds like you've been having a lot of equipment problems. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. Oh. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. 
Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, first thing every morning, I'll brief you on what has to be done that Drama. day. Drama. As for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Pretty much everything he says in there, I can hear out here. He's not exactly a low talker. The chart with all the siren stuff is in the living room, and that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the kit. If any items are missing, you can go to Ma and Pa's general store up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget is very limited. And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished the filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Fix the sprinkler system? See, this farmhouse and the acreage it sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase Anything team gets else? it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. Hawaii. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I better turn it in. Wow. There must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the Twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. What? Sure. No! When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. Oh. What goes in the disaster kit okay. again? You don't remember? No, sorry. To tell but... you the truth, I have to look up a lot of things myself some days. Check the computer, that should help you out. I'll check back with you in a bit. Okay. Nancy, oh, no! Oh, thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya! So Nancy's 18. Nancy, please use my filing system. I've written the instructions to the right. <sighs> these puzzles are the bait of these and ice puzzles are the bait of my existence. What are these puzzles called again? It's all <laughs> I hate these. All right, animals. S is immediately next to R. All right, this one's gonna go here. R. The circle is left of this one. Okay, so there. I'm just guessing. This is to the right of. The, okay, so let's move these here then. This one is to the right of that. That doesn't look right. Nancy, give me a second. Um, this one is immediately next to the circle. Well, this is right. This is to the left of S. So S has to be in between this one and this one. Mm, but this one has to be the, to the left of this. What if we do like this? I'd better try again. S can be on the other side of R. True. But this makes sense. This is left of the S. And then this one is immediately next to... Okay, that's right. What's wrong? Goes to the left. This one is... Oh. Oh, that's right. This is to... This one is to the right. Okay. Oh, this one has to be, oh. No. <laughs> she better fix them sprinklers. I'll fire her straight off if she doesn't know a disaster, know a disaster kit needs salt, sugar, and bleach. I know these people are horrible. Logic puzzles, that's it. I've always been so bad at these. Uh. Swap big circle in the bridge. Uh, 
Oh, it doesn't not am oh. That's not it. Oh. I see, I see. This just has to be to the left. It doesn't have to be immediately next to it. The only one that needs to be immediately next to it are... All right, got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I guess I have to put these in here now. Can you imagine having this be your sorting? <laughs> What's this? Hmm, looks like garbage. Don't need this. More food! Mom paws. Corn bag? Oh, it's corn. It's corn. It's corn. It's corn. I think. See, it says it's corn. So that's probably corn. They're probably feeding the mice corn. I just saw a mouse over here. I've been seeing more and more of them. Well, I wonder why. It's not like somebody's leaving food out. It's what? It's corn. <laughs> cool, we did it. All right, hold on. Ooh, that's a cool. <gasps> we can change it. Japanese Garden, the Hardy Boys, White Wolf, Venetian Garden, Squirrels. Me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? It's Hello. corn. It's corn. Okay. Thanks, Jai. <laughs> Oh god, this yellow is horrible though. Alright. I'm gonna take evidence of the reason why there are so many mice in this place. Ep e evidence one. There. Probably don't need that, but evidence one. Check in with Check. the team. Go to Paul's store. Oh, take the Twister Check. quiz. Finish filing That's in Debbie's office. Check out Did the cellar. That. All right, I need to put this disaster kit together. Where is the disaster kit? Mm. They have so many computers in this place. I can't click on anything. That's a big fork. Corn. Wait. Can I go? What's up? Oh, shoot. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. Actually, wait a second. That was quick. Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in the wastebasket over there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? For mice. To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here. They look a lot more man-made than mouse-made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? It doesn't sound dumb. I think someone's been trying to lure them inside. Everyone on this team has his quirks, so that is for sure. But deliberately causing a mouse infestation? <gasps> Nobody's that Bear. That sounds accurate. Maybe the reason why their equipment is going bad is because the mice is eating it. Yeah! Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? Theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season, I found out the Grange needed a stage manager for the play it's putting on and volunteered for the job and soon became the sound and lighting director as well, which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm there. Please don't tell it me we're going like to have to be in a play. sounds like you keep pretty busy. You don't even know the half of it. We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. Can I can I look through her files? No. I guess I can't go over here to the side. All right. Um disaster kit. Disaster kit. If I had a disaster kit, where would I put it? In the basement? Why 
is the music so scary when you go down here? Look, look. Did you see that, guys? There's more. There's more corn over here. Oh, who's that? Hi, I'm Frosty. As you can probably Frosty? tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it all. Do it pretty darn well, too. Okay, Frosty. Is there a story behind the, the name snowman? Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more, just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls. And the wind was blowing and the car was swaying. And then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized. Then all of a sudden, the windshield shatters and the a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap. Then another, then another. <gasps> Turns out I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd punched the what of the who? <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, Tobias? to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. Phenomena. Wow. What happened to your arm? What's wrong with his arm? What happened to your arm? Oh. What, these scratches? Oh. Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some mammatus clouds. And what happens? I dropped my camera bag right into a patch of brambles. Oh. Thorns just about took my arm off when I went to grab it. Have you ever been, you know, seriously injured? Nah. But then I'm still relatively new to the storm chasing biz. I joined the team last year after their photographer job. quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. I'll catch you later. See ya. Oh, this is the disaster kit. All right, first aid kit, toilet paper, mask, a photo of random strangers, uh, plastic sheeting, some pliers. Medicine, a blanket, is that some shoes? All right, I don't see salt, sugar, or bleach in this. Is there anything else that needs to be in it again? Here, let's look. First aid kit, check. Oh, water, there was no water in there. Water? Sugar, salt, granola, batteries, flashlight, can opener, toothpaste, duct tape, bleach. Okay, that none of that was in there. So we need to go buy all this. Can y'all remember this list? Okay, I expect y'all, uh, y'all are smart. All right, let's go to Ma and Pa's general store. We got this. We'll remember. Ooh, what's this? What is this? I'll do it later. <gasps> Ooh. Which car? Can we take that one? Cool. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no. Wait, guys, it's like that, it's like that other game. It's like that other Nancy Drew game. I don't know where to go. Whee. Wait, here? Where's the general store? Oh, 
it's a dead end. Does that show how much gas I have? Is that gas at the top? Oh, okay, invisible wall. It's okay, we're storm chasing. Wait, do you think we're actually gonna have to... <gasps> Cows! Do you think we're actually gonna have to... Oh, oops, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Chase um, a, 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 a tornado? Where the heck am I going? Oops. Can I get out and look at the cows? Unrealistic. Ugh. Oh god. Oh. God. Hey, they hit me. They hit me. No, they hit me. What? What? They hit me. They hit me. That was dumb. Where the heck is the general store? We Oh, here. Oh, cool. Well, I guess. Wait, didn't they say something about a GPS? Wait, wasn't there a GPS in the car? Howdy. Come on over here and be friendly. That's more like it. Welcome to Mom and Pa's. I take it your pa? That's me. That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as. Pa. But I'll tell you something most of them don't know. That it's not your real name? Well, ain't you, Miss Smarty Boots. Little Miss Gal from up north who's helping out tornado chases from the Canute. How'd you know that? <laughs> it's nice. Not bad for an old codger, huh? Well, I know all sorts of stuff about you. I have no cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's 523-555-4399. How do you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave Why me a number. Why didn't you memorize my so number? If something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay safe. I'm kind of your emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. Debbie, feel you in the way things work around here yet? Fake gold. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Don't things work the way they normally do in stores? Not for y'all. You canoe folk got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Pa using penny. what? Pa pennies. Pa like pennies. I got one. A little something I got I invented one. to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. In fact, go ahead and take it. You could use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Pa penny and pa we trust. Just that's mom why it's pa cool. way of saying nice to meet you. Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet, and all you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. Uh. So what's this play about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women dark. that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle, the town chef and area's first librarian. Back in those days, it wasn't no small thing to return a book late. That sounds interesting. Gonna be. If you're not out chasing twisters open at night, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. Oh, that's nice. He's seen things. Well, keep in mind, Ma from Mom and Pa's store. So I guess his wife died from a tornado. Remember, that was that article that I didn't read, but I skimmed it. So do you ever chase tornadoes? 
Silliest thing I've heard tell of. Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. I also don't understand it either. Like, that's such a dangerous job. So you've seen a tornado? Of course, Nancy. Of course I have. Course. Pretty much everybody I know has. You research types and all your meters and senses and recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Watch. You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it. Because it's just gone. All you can do is stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. What else you need? Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just going to say the same thing. Y'all take care now. You need to go to therapy. I, I think some good therapy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. <laughs> anyway, here's your doodle dollars. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Nine, almost nine, almost a hundred dollars. I can't afford that. Groundbreaking research for a hundred million dollar prize. I should probably read this. Local girl named Student of the Year. <laughs> it's a real person. The meteorological community was stunned last fall when the Green Skies Corp, a leading weather safety developer, announced a competition promising a hundred million dollar grant to the storm team whose research and theories offered the most promise for discovering the secret of tornado genesis tornado genesis the process by which tornadoes form is still largely a mystery to science though doppler radar and other technological advances have greatly improved tornado forecasting little is known about the actual causes that trigger a tornado in two storms with nearly identical conditions, one may produce a tornado while the other may not. As one of the largest weather safety developers and insurers, Green Skies is looking for the answer. The contest is open to any meteorological team from any institution. Contest rules are simple. Present your team's theories, research, and findings at the conference this fall. The winner, chosen by a panel of experts, will be the team whose presentation offers the most promising possibilities for further study. The grant will then be awarded to fund that team's research. Since the contest announcement last fall, two teams have emerged as the clear-cut leaders. New York Kingston's University, led by Brooke Tavena, and our own local Canute College, led by Scott Varnell. The two front runners <clears throat> are busy spinning the remainder of the chase season, tracking down the best severe storms, gathering as much data as possible and testing out their theories in the field. With a rare front system rolling in that promises an atypically large outburst of tornadoes, the research gathered over the next the next week could provide the deciding factor for the winning team. Who will it be? Kingston University or Knut College? We'll have to wait until fall to find out. Plucky. Okay. Is this another article? Canute College Ledger. If a tornado was roaring down on you, common sense would say to run to safety, but that's not the case with Canute College leading meteorolo meteorologist Professor Scott Varnell. When a tornado is forming, Varnell puts himself and his team directly into the storm's deadly path in the name of science. I've been fascinated with tornadoes ever since one destroyed my home when I was young. Varnell explained after his storm chasing, the sheer power and destructive force of severe weather is matched by a beauty that's difficult to describe to the uninitiated. Head of the meteorological department, Varnell spends every chase season out in the field with a hand-picked team conducting research trials. Recent meteorology PhD graduate, Debbie 
Kirkham is spending her fourth consecutive season in the field as Varnell's team manager. Scott's knowledge of storms is unparalleled, absolutely lethal. His ability to accurately predict where a tornado will form is simply uncanny. Most of us are lucky to be right half of the time. For Scott, it's nearly 100%. He puts us where we need to be when we need to be there. I can't imagine working for anyone else. His passion for storm chasing is matched by a thirst for knowledge. For the past 15 years, Varnell's focus has been on tornado genesis, the process by which tornadoes form. Tornado genesis is one of the least understood aspects of tornadoes. If I can discover its causes, we would be able to increase warning times and more accurately pinpoint formations. Varnell's current groundbreaking theories and research have placed his team as one of the forward, or favored winners of the Green Skies grant competition to be decided this fall. All his team needs is to obtain the data that will prove his theory is viable. With, other, with only weeks left in the season, the pressure is on. Under pressure. Well, that's, well, there you go, chat. That's why their equipment is failing. You know? Oh, granola bars. Buy two different blue tag items, get a different blue tag item or equal or lesser value free. Okay, well, we need granola. Oh, there's my remaining budget, $29. Okay, we also need salt. Uh, oh God, they're, what? They're giving me options. Buy one green tag item, get a different green tag item of equal or lesser value, half off. So it's buy one, ha get one half off. What is this, sugar? We need salt and sugar, so I guess I'll buy both of those. Ooh, do we need candy? Candy sounds good. Cut, cut smackers. Moon chunk, licky loo. I remember seeing these. What is this? Toothpaste? Oh, we need to buy toothpaste, but is that the best type of toothpaste? I think that's the only type. Okay, all right, toothpaste. Is there anything else over there? No. A million, oh wait, a hundred dollar mystery box. I want to buy that. Hmm. <laughs> a flashlight. And batteries 30% off marked price $2 off marked price uh, chat what's better <laughs> what's 30% off $6 <laughs> I think $2 is better um, wait am I gonna need to find a blue or a green I'll have to come back here. What's in here? Is there anything in here that I need? Do I need butter or milk? No, that wasn't in the list. That will go bad. $1.80 is 30% off, $6. So you only save, so this one would be better. $2 off would be better. Save like 20 cents. Hi Dale. Oh, we do need a can opener. Oh, see, I, I don't appreciate this, Nancy. I, I, oh. Oh, no. We have to figure out what's better, guys. Ah! Um, we need duct tape. Buy two different blue tag items. Get a different blue tag item of equal or lesser value free. So... I could buy this and get this free. It's our Home Depot shopping sim. <laughs> Break out the calculator. Or is it cheaper to just do 60% off this, buy this, and then I could get mm, the... Or, or I could buy the blue, the blue tag flashlight. And then get the uh, duct tape free. And then what is 60% off $8? This is too real. <laughs> it is. First item you got was a blue tag. Was it? I, I haven't been keeping track. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. 
What did I buy? What was the first thing I bought? I bought, oh, I bought this, granola. Buy two different blue tag items, get a different blue tag item of equal or lesser value free. Okay. But then I also bought these two, but these were green. Okay, so I already bought a blue item. Was this one blue? No. So, the granola will be free. Ugh. Oh. Okay. How about I just spend... How about I just put the stuff on credit and buy the mystery box? Um, let's see. What's 60? I'm not very good with, with percentages off. I can't do that in my head. 60% off eight dollars what is that four dollars eighty cent savings ow i just messed up my contact okay so ah, i just messed up my contact math i know i can't do it ah crap i'll bring it back hold on chat i oh wait no i'm good okay we're good sorry i messed up my contact but i guess i fixed it all right, $4.80 savings. But is that better? Is that still? I say we buy the blue can opener and then I'll get the flashlight for free. And then that means that I'll get the granola for free if I buy the blue duct tape. <coughs> and what did we say for the batteries? This were cheaper, right? $2 off marked price. So this would be $4 versus 30% off $1.80. So this would be five something, $4.80. Wait, yeah. Right? No? Five? Ugh, whatever. I'm buying these. Alright. Alright, what else do we need? Bleach. Uh, I don't think... We'll buy this one. Alright, and then we need water? Oh, perfect. I can afford both. Wait, wait a second. Oh, this is 60% off purchase of any two different yellow tag. Oh. I think that's everything. Is that everything? We have 55 cents left. Um, did I buy everything? Bleach? Can opener, water, salt, sugar. Wait, can I see like what I bought? Oh, here we go. I think that's everything. What is this? Oh, you can return stuff. But what is that? Is that bleach? Oh, this is the bleach. And I think this is sugar. I think that's everything. I have 55 cents left. <laughs> what if I buy the... Oh, it's in here. Looks like I've got everything I need. I think I've got everything I need. Oh, I was about Can to... Can I leave. pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. Thanks. Sure thing. Oh, I was about to leave. Nancy was about to <laughs> run. Hold on. I want this. Here, I'll save. I want this. That's too expensive. No, it's not. That's too expensive. Darn it. That's too expensive. He said we can put it on credit. I know, she was about to commit. She was about to shoplift. I can't, I can buy this. 
maybe I can't. I don't know, man. Dang it. Should I have bought something better? What's in here? I bet I can find something that will turn this machine on. The divining rod that's supposed to be here seems to be missing. Interesting. Is this like a little museum? No gum? I can't stand that stuff. <laughs> you don't like gum? <laughs> By the way, do y'all want me to teach y'all about homesteaders? A cannon's boom at exactly high noon at April, on April 22nd, 1889 signaled thousands of home seekers to begin the race for fertile land in Oklahoma. Men, women, children, anyone could enter, and more than 50,000 boomers <laughs> waited at the starting line for the gunshots and cannon boom that would mean there could mean they could begin the race. They rushed for land and wagons on horseback and on foot, only to discover they were frequently beaten to claims by the Sooners, who had, cheat been, who had cheated by sneaking in before the appointed time to claim the lots. For years to come, courts were overloaded with cases involving Sooners. At first, these Oklahoma lands were considered unsuitable for colonization and were used something, something. Purcell Indian Territory, April 22nd. A great change has come over this town. Yesterday it was a metropolis. Tonight it was a it is a hamlet in point of population. The metamorphosis was effected at 12 o'clock noon today when several thousand men, women, and children crossed the Canadian River and entered upon a wild struggle for homes in the promised land. Oh, New York Times wrote that. Do you like my accent? <laughs> Did that accent way too well? Well, I am from Texas, you besu. <laughs> it's like an endless of chewing. You have to wait until they get done. Oh, wait, chewing gum? You can always just spit it out after you're done with it. That's my real accent? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. What? Who the heck is that? It looks like a person with jeans on. What is that? It looks like a little person with crazy hair, a black shirt, and jeans. Oh. Oh, it's it, it's showing what a dust bowl looks like. Interesting. <clears throat> Lured by the Homestead Act's promise of free land, farmers came in thousands to settle the southern plains. At first, a typical range resulted in years of bountiful harvest for the new settlers. Their luck ended during the summer of 1931 when the rain stopped, heralding a sort or heralding, heralding the start of a nearly decade-long drought. The great demand for wheat products had led farmers to overplow the grasslands, reducing the land allotted for cattle grazing. These practices destroy not only the ground cover that held the soil in place, but the soil's ability to keep moisture and nutrients as well. Without the rain and protective ground cover, dry dirt was whipped into the sky by the region's strong winds. The dust storms were so powerful that at some places they would cover farms like snow. Snow? <laughs> dust covered the sun, turning day to night in minutes making it so dark that chickens went to sleep in the middle of the day. It was impossible to keep houses clean, difficult to breathe, and people would die. I think, I don't know, it's just a TP. I can't read the rest of it. <laughs> the winds unleashed their fury with a force beyond my wildest imagination. It blew continuously for a hundred years, and it seemed as if the whole surface of the earth would be blown away. Lawrence Savobida. Savobida. We. So that is a person. Uh, so I guess this is the museum. You really do that way too well. Thanks. Trail of Tears. Oh, that, this is sad. Oh, you can. Wait, you can make it go. Oh, hold on. You can make it go down. Oh, <laughs> I didn't finish. But we get it. Or do we have to know this? Should I keep reading? 
There's more. I didn't realize there was more. The other one has more too then. Ah! Trail of Tears makes me cry. I don't want to read about it. I hate hearing about it. Or I, I, it's important to hear about it, but it's sad. Land Rush Staker claims. Oh wait, so these are like games. For a second, I thought that said fajita scale. <laughs> Vegeta scale. I guess we're gonna need to learn, chat. Today is a learning day. All right, all right, I'll go back. I'll finish re- oop, oop. I'll finish reading what I wrote. Or what I said. At first, these Oklahoma lands were considered unsuitable for colonization and were used to relocate Native Americans that had been removed from their homelands by the government. By the 1880s, the Indian Territory was home to many different tribes. Improved ranching and farming techniques led white settlers to realize that the land could be valuable to them. The government was pressured to open nearly 2 million acres of land that had never been assigned to any specific Native American tribe. One observer noted that before noon on April 22, the population of the city Guthrie was nothing, but by sundown, it was at least 10,000. Settlers sprawled across the territory in tent cities, and the land was transformed almost overnight. Subsequent land, land run, runs were more controlled, and by 1905, most of the land in Indian territory included land that had been assigned to specific tribes had been claimed by new settlers. After two years, all the land was admitted into the Union as the new state of Oklahoma. All right, I don't think that was necessary, reading that part. What is this? Is this a... I bet I can find something that will turn this machine on. Can I, can I use the m m pause coin? It won't let me for some reason. Also, thanks, Orca. I don't have any more water. <laughs> See, that's confusing. There were three people who had frequently become lost while traveling or trying to find their way home during storms. The arrival of Black Sunday on April 14, 1935, saw one of the most devastating storms of the entire 1930s, covering the plains in darkness for hours. Dust from the storm continued to fall as far away as Washington, D.C. It was after this day that the term Dust Bowl came to be used to refer to the region that suffered drought in the midst of the Great Depression. Depression. By 1934, over 100 million acres of farmland had lost all or most of its essential topsoil layer. By 1940, nearly two and a half million people had left the Plains states with a large portion of the farmers relocating to California in search of work. These westward migrants were often referred to as Okies because the majority came from hard-hit regions of Oklahoma. Many migrants were turned away at the borders. Those that made it through found themselves comp competing with hundreds of other people searching for work at exceedingly low wages. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and his administration passed many acts to save farmers from starvation and to improve farming techniques, including the Soil Conservation Act. Farmers prided themselves as on their independence and self-sufficiency. They relied on their crops and lots and livestock and even had spring houses built on or near sources of water to keep their produce and dairy products cool before there was any kind of electrical refrigeration. It was it was more it was often difficult for farmers to accept federal aid, but it made it possible for them to survive until 1939 when almost or after almost a decade of dryness, rain finally began to fall once more. I remember reading this in school. Hold on, is there anything else I can click on? I thought there was like another room. Am I, am I seeing things? Maybe there's not. All right, Trail of Tears. The day in which Hugh Bennett was testifying about the dust storms of Congress in 1935 was the same day a dust storm hit Washington, D.C. Really? Alright, I'm gonna go get some more water. Talking drives me out. Hold on. Water break!
<laughs> Even more country. All right. In the early 19th century, a dark chapter in American history was a be being written. Settlers trying to expand into the lower southern part of the continent faced, on, faced a problem. That area was already known to the Cherokee Nation. Eager for the expansion possibilities and gold the lands offered, white settlers pressured the government to acquire the Native American territory. In 1830, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act into law. Oh, the Cher Cher Cherokee Nation successfully challenged the act with a Supreme Court ruling stating that a treaty must be signed before the Cherokee could be removed from their ancestral lands. The U.S. government worked with a small group of Cherokee to illegally sign the Treaty of New Echota in 1835 without the consent of the nation's majority. Despite fervent attempts to nullify the treaty, it was ratified by the U.S. Senate on May 23, 1836. In exchange for a $5 million payment, the Cherokee, 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 Cher Cherokee would have to leave all their lands east of the Mississippi within two years. Oh. In 1838, the United States Army began forcefully rounding up the Cherokee, relocating them temporarily to makeshift forts before starting the journey west. The Cherokee marched on lands, land routes for days or made the voyage on boats in equally dismal conditions. During the long journey to their new home in current day, Taliqua, Oklahoma, the Cher Cherokee suffered hunger disease and exposure and exhaustion. By the end, an estimated 4,000 of the 15,000 had perished. It is for this reason that Cherokee forced relocation became known as the Trail of Tears. The Trail of Tears is now a national historic trail stretching from Georgia to Oklahoma. Cherokee Rose also commemorates the suffering that the Cherokee felt on the Trail of Tears. Its gold center is said to represent the gold that settlers wanted to take from the Cherokee lands, while its white petals represent the tears that Cherokee mothers shed during this period of great hardship. Oh, it's so sad. Watch, we're going to have to remember all this stuff in a few days for a random quiz puzzle. I hope you guys are remembering this. Most of this stuff I feel like already knew. What is this? Can you separate fact from fiction? Important things to know to keep you safe during a tornado. Opening your windows to equalize air pressure will help your house stay intact during a tornado. Wrong! Miss! Leaving a window closed or open will not make any difference on the survival of your house. It could, however, make a world of difference to your own survival. Don't take the time to open windows during a when a tornado is coming. Head straight for shelter. Mounds or rivers will protect a city from tornadoes. Myth. Despite common misconceptions, geographical features like mountains, rivers, or valleys do not protect cities near them from tornadoes. In fact, uh, tornadoes have been recorded going over mountain passes and crossing rivers with no loss of strength. Tornadoes never hit major cities. Myth! This is merely a game of odds. The chances of a tornado hitting the compact downtown area of any town are relatively small. However, that doesn't mean that urban metros have some sort of special protection. Oklahoma City, Miami, and Atlanta have all recently been in the direct path of a tornado. A tornado can form over a farm or downtown. It's only a matter of time. Highway overpasses are a safe place to seek shelter. Myth! This is one of the most dangerous fa fallacies of tornadoes. Despite popular belief, highway overpasses do not offer safe shelter. Higher winds, flying debris, and changes in wind direction occur as a tornado passes through the area, significantly rising the chances of injury. If you are caught outside in a tornado, avoid the overpass. Your chances of survival are much greater by seeking protection in a low ditch. It's assuming you have a low ditch around. Drive at right angles to escape a tornado's path. Truth! It is still considered sound advice to drive away from a tornado's path at right angles, but only if the roadways are clear. However, if you are trapped in traffic or if you can't discern the path of the tornado, it is typically better to seek shelter elsewhere, a nearby building or a ditch, than to stay in your car. Oh my god, how big is this? 
The southwest corner of your house is the safest place during a tornado. <laughs> Myth. The safest place is an interior room with no windows, probably in a basement. Since tornadoes tend to approach from the southwest, The southwest corner of a home tends to suffer the most damage from shifting foundations and debris, making it a dangerous location to seek shelter. Wait, what? Tornadoes tend to approach from the southwest? That's interesting. <coughs> Tornadoes can swim? The largest tornadoes are always the most destructive. Myth, all tornadoes, whether they're small or large, can cause destructive devastation. Though a wider funnel means more surface contact area, typically larger damage paths, some large tornadoes, quarter mile or more, have only ranked as an EF0 or EF1. Smaller rope tornadoes have produced EF4, EF5 damage levels. <laughs> Mobile homes are tornado magnets? Myth, mobile homes are, are hit no more frequently than anywhere else. However, due to their lack of foundations, tornadoes that would cause little or no damage to sturdier homes or forests can easily destroy a mobile home, making it appear as though they are being targeted. Well, I certainly hope they don't get targeted. All right, is that it? I think that's it. What's this? Land rush. Insert coin to continue. Start by claiming any color lot along the border. To expand, select an adjoining color to claim all squares of that color touching your lot. The more you claim, the higher your reward will be. But watch out for sneaky sooner. Oh god. Don't have enough money Dang for Dang it, I'm broke. Ugh. I can't even play a game. I'm broke, chat. How do I make more money? How do I make What's more money? What's going on there, Nancy? Did you know the divining rod that's supposed to be on display in your museum is missing? Missing? Why, I had no idea. How do you like that? Somebody must have took it. Somebody must have took it. When did you last see it? It was there when I dusted. That was just last week. It wasn't last month. Anyway, I can't <laughs> imagine why anybody would take it. All the thing it's good for is fine and all. That's pretty much just a superstition. Tiny oil. For most folks, that is. Some people around these parts still swear up and down divine and rods work. Well, guess I'm just gonna have to whittle me up a fake one and stick it in the display. Just be our little secret, okay? I'm telling everybody. Oh, <laughs> cat, I just know what you said. And you're out here like y'all aren't depressed enough. <laughs> mm. All right, goodbye, sir. Good seeing you again. Y'all hurry back. He like delays to answer, it's weird. All right, um, I think that's it. Let's leave. Is there like a, other places I can like drive to? Which side of the road? Is this where I came from? Where's the farm? Ow. Where's the farm? I'm lost! Is there a map? Oh, there's GPS. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I'm down here! GPS. Oh look, a windmill. <laughs> okay, we'll go there. Ah! Hey, watch where you go, sir. Be. Right, up here, and then what? Oh, and then straight. Okay, I made it home. Oh. All right. Oh, can we go in the barn? Whoever just came in, give me a hand over here, would you? There's uh, another person. Sure. Who's who? 
Save me a lot of time if you kindly fix the LED display on the dash while I fix the wiring out here. But I've never fixed an LED display before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. Are we fixing cars now? What y'all are looking at is the fuse board for the screen. The fuse are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they numbered from one to eight? Yeah. What you gotta do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Including diagonals? Yep. Fuse number one can't be touching fuse number two, which can't be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Got that? I think so. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. With any luck, I'll be done out here about the same time. Chat. Chat. Assistance, please. Assistance. Hold on. There, I needed to put this. Assistance, don't shake your head at me. No, assistance, please. Uh, how about I do this? Okay, now let's go for it. How funny would that have been if that worked? One and two are diagonal. Well, four and five are diagonal. Dang it. I don't remember what he said. He said basically, it no consecutive num consecutive numbers can be touching. So like one and two can't be touching. So this is wrong. So I have to move one somewhere. But if one didn't exist, this would have worked. No, it wouldn't have, because five and six are touching. <laughs> There, let's try this now. <laughs> I made it messy. I don't like these puzzles. Any suggestions, chat? Assistance, please. I'll leave it alone now. Assistance, please. Those background sounds? What is the background sounds? Oh. <laughs> um, we need to move six and seven. good we've learned a lot about tornadoes today haven't we chat we know all about tornadoes now mm. what if six no six and five seven eight are touching tornadoes that's good to know about it is Nancy Drew teaches does actually teach you a lot if you read everything and pay attention um oh it's too late sorry Bless me.
There's gotta be a pattern to this. You know, guys? There's gotta be a pattern. There's gotta be some kind of pattern. Like, what are, what are the ones that have to stay on the outside? I feel like the one and the eight, it makes sense to leave that. Because they can only, this, they can only be touched by two and seven. Right? So, like, the ones that touch, like, three or two should stay on, like, the outside, right? But then which one needs to stay on the middle? I'm trying to think logically, okay? You know? <laughs> Maybe we should put these in the center. And then the the ones that have to touch go in the top. Like the ones that have to immediately touch these, right? Like this. This is looking good. Did I do this right? What did I do wrong? Oh, dang, it's the two and the three. But wait, what if we switch these? I did it! The screen says it's initializing. And I'm done out here. How's that for timing? Logic! Hey Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Dang it. Well, I'm Chase. <laughs> I ain't gonna shake your hand because my hand's kind of a mess. Again, I appreciate the help. Woo! Gotta just talk it out, chat. You just gotta talk out the puzzle, right? What do you do on the team? Right now, I'm fixing the car the fella you were placing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job, fixing stuff. That's a lot of hail damage. That's one thing I always constantly worry about living in Texas is hail damage to your car. That okay with you? Oh. Yep. I like fixing stuff, and I like keeping busy. So this here is the perfect job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. True, true. Car insurance? Yeah, I know, but it still stinks. And also, does car insurance really cover hail? Like, maybe it Is does. that why they call you Chase? Because you chase tornadoes? Do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? <laughs> Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. <laughs> what? Has been since before the day I was born. Because <laughs> you're Nancy too many questions? Does that make sense? You ask too many, Nance too many? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Why do you think so much equipment has been malfunctioning lately? <laughs> Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person, all Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. <gasps> do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what. Over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now, since I can't put the board to use till it's been wired up just right, how about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in pop pennies. <gasps> Payment. Of course, since wiring up wrong just makes more work for me. <clears throat> you make too many mistakes, and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Depending on how you did. What do you say? <laughs> Couldn't you just give me? <laughs> Couldn't you just give me the paw pennies? <laughs> like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there and start wiring up boards. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. <laughs> Can Anything you just on your mind? give me money? 
Let's keep asking him some more questions. Some, and Nancy and some more questions. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never ridden bull in a bucking shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together, I like him fine. Got this sixth sense when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kind of spooky sometimes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it, is, it was worth a try. Think he'll win the Green Skies competition? <laughs> Not a chance. He's got this real negative way about him. Nothing good's ever gonna come his way. Sad, but true. Dang. Wow. Will it bother you if his team doesn't win? Heck yeah. I'd like to win. It's gonna bother me a lot. But as long as you got Scott for a leader, ain't no way. That seems kind of sus, though, doesn't it? Like, suspicious, the way he said that? Like, he doesn't think anything good will happen to his team because of the leader. I don't know. Maybe it was just how he said it. It made me seem suspicious. Everyone is sus. That's true. The guy I'm replacing, what was the Can't matter with anybody. his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Mice. It was the mice. It's the mice. Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a two-by-four in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. But I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. I've bugged you long enough. It's nice that corn, you, chat. Just it's do right corn. by Scott and you'll do fine. It's making the mice crazy. Wow, well, look at the hail damage. What? Oh, licky Lou. What is this? Modern day land rush. Last year, three men sneaked onto Canute's main campus under the cover of darkness and slipped a tow rope around Harrison J. Bison, Canute's beloved mascot. Seconds later, the hundred year old statue was torn from his foundation. The next morning, students and staff alike were surprised to see Canute Commons standing strangely empty. It wasn't the work of vandals, as many first suspected, but instead the result of another problem all too common on college campuses today. Rising real estate prices and flagging endowments. Uh, no longer the proud guardian of Central Campus, Harrison J. Bison now stands at the corner of 8th Street and Mason, just across from the Student Union. They put him in front of the bike rack, which makes like zero sense said sophomore Kyle Stap Stapling. I can't put my bike there anymore because there's a giant metal bison in the way. Stapling is not the only one annoyed by the move. They took down our chair's mascot, paved the commons, and replaced it with a strip mall, said Junior Martin Applewright. I mean, that says something about the school's priorities right there. I'm guessing when I finally get my diploma, it'll have a 10% off coupon for steak billies printed on the back. The sad reality is, said Dr. Marianne Madrazo, Dean of Economics and Chair of the Committee for Sustainable Growth, as employment levels off and the day-to-day -day cost of running the college rises, something's got to give. Our decision to bring businesses onto main campus was not popular, but it was financially necessary. Necess Necessity. Necessity. While the leasing of university property has helped push the budget towards the black, uh, Canute still has quite a few cuts ahead. The key word here is land. In the past, we were able to finance off-campus properties for research, continued Dr. Madrozo. Drazo. But those days are coming to an end. We're looking to restructure how programs like our meteorology field research team or our agricultural innovation team utilize off-site resources. If we are able to find corporate sponsors to help subsidize the cost of maintaining the real estate, we'll have no choice but to sell the properties. When asked if the relocation of Harrison J. Bison was indicative of a general shift towards profit over educational opportunities, the doctor was adamant. No, 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 no. No and no. It's just the opposite. This may come as a shock, but Harrison J. Bison's move was never meant to imply that students are being re relegated to the sidelines in favor of businesses. Despite her positive forecast for Canute College, she's willing to admit one regret. To be perfectly honest, though, it just really wasn't the smartest idea to put Harry in front of the bike rack. That's where the bikes go. Harry? 
His name is Harry. Oh, Harrison J. Bison. Harrison. Anyways, that's weird. Okay. Harry Potter. I'm guessing that it plays into something later. Why else would we need to read it? <clears throat> what is that? What is that? What is that? Hey now, that's not yours. Now, that's not yours. You seem awfully interested in those pennies. What happens if I keep doing it? You seem awfully interested in those pennies. Pennies! Can I help you with something? Can I help you with something? <laughs> hey, now, that's not yours. Dang it, I thought he was going to say something else, but I guess not. <gasps> Mice! This place could really use a cat. Oh, yeah, see? They need a cat. Water balloon circuit boards. To wire weather balloon boards, each fan is labeled with the number of wires that needs to be attached to deliver the right amount of electricity. If not enough power gets delivered to the fan, you'll damage the board. Too much and you'll damage the fan. So make sure you've got that number right before you power up. If all the fans start spinning when you push the power on button, you've wired the board up correctly. The circuit boards are very prone to overheating, so you can't allow any wires to overlap, and you have to connect the fans quickly, or the components will begin to fail. I'll start you off with the easy boards. After completing a board, you can either finish and collect your pennies or start a new one. If you make a mistake, the board will overload and you'll have to try again. Keep an eye on the overload meter. If it hits red, that means the board is too damaged to use. I'll pay you full price for boards that you wire up perfectly and for each light that's on in the overload panel when you finish. I'll take back a quarter of what you would have earned. Good luck. Oh my god, I'm timed? Oh. Ah, I earned five pennies. Oh, okay, I get this. So I can make money this way? Well, if the college is struggling financially, I bet that a hundred million could come in handy. But is that the New York? Because you know how they said there's two people in the running? Was that the New York school or is it? No, it was Canute. Canute needed to win it. But the same, mm, I don't know, odd. Odd. Are they gonna give me anything more challenging? <laughs> wow, Shagoy. It's the same one every time. Oh, oh, I take it back. <laughs> oh. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three,
shoot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Amazing. Next. I want to get to 900. I want to get to 100 because I want to buy that mystery box. to be it. One, two, three, four. So one of these can't work. And one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, ah! That scared me! What happened? Did I do something wrong? What did I do wrong? I was in such <laughs> concentration! Dang it! It scared me! What did I what did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> it scared the poop out of me! Ugh. Okay. One, two. What did I, oh, is it the timing? One, two, one, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Oh, I'm gonna exit. I'm ready to collect my paw pennies. It scared me. It scared yeah, it's me. It's gonna cost you. I got 45 pennies. Ah! Oh, give me another one. I wanna keep doing it, but I don't know why it did it. Choose level one. Oh. Oops, I did that wrong. Exit. Clear. <laughs> All done. <laughs> Afraid that was one mistake too many. Do they take, do they, t does he, wait, do I still get money if I do it wrong? Can I help oh, you with no. something? Oh, no, okay. All right, my bad. <laughs> one, two. Three, two, um, one, two, okay. How much money should I make? One, two, one, two, one. Um, Do I get more points for doing the time right? How do I get to the higher levels? Reset chat. Oh my gosh, this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this needs to only be one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at 85. Almost. That 99.9 .9 cents thingy better be worth it. Better be worth it. Robot Nancy. 
Look at this engineer at work. <laughs> It's just it couldn't take how fast I was going. <laughs> oh, let me let me fix it one second. They couldn't they couldn't handle my speed. Twister, twister, twister. Turn it down just a little bit too. All right. Um. Let me know if this is better. Is this better? All right, one more board and then I'm done. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, this is too many. All right, done. I'm ready to collect my paw pennies. Better? Perfect. I am real impressed with your work, Nancy. You earned every one of those pennies. All right, I'll save since I got money. All right. All right, I got 125. Wow, I'm rich, chat. I'm rich. I'm the richest I've ever been in a Nancy Drew game. Wait, how do I, how do I leave? Oh. I'm gonna go back. Mm, I'm gonna drive this car. to buy this whatever that is I can't afford it right now what I have 125 pennies oh wait it's pennies what can I do for you little lady I was just wondering where's the ma part of ma and pa's ma oh she's around and you know running errands and such she'll be in later what else you need? Good seeing you again. Y'all hurry back. I thought she died. Okay, well at least now I can do this game, I guess. One, I guess? What do I have to do? I'm losing. This yellow person is owning me. Wait, how do you win this? I lost. Do I get anything from winning? $100 loot box, Nancy Drew predict, tr predicted the current gaming landscape. <laughs> Does he have a new mama? I don't think that's it, Kat. I don't think that's the case. Wait, how do I, how do I win this, guys? I don't understand this game. Click the biggest areas. But I have, oh, I see. How is he 
you're getting so much more than me. Oh. I still lost. I want to win. Stop it! Oh yeah! Take that! Yeah! One. I won! I won! Oh, it's just a way to gamble and get more points. Give me rank two. Am I on level two since I won? Sir, no. I want the green. No! I think my idea is just trapping them. Oh, just kidding. That doesn't work. I won! Oh yeah, take that, Sooners! I won! Do I have enough money now to buy this stupid thingy? I think I understand. I basically have to like cut them off to win. <laughs> I win. Look Bring at the, the sea of blue. I I just want to get to the last level, and then I'm done. I wonder if is anyone ever saved up enough paw pennies that's in that or what's in I know I want to know what's in the dark box. Nancy's uh, Nancy needs to make better money somehow. I, I don't see where I can go. maybe this way. The trick is to cut them off. Cut them off.
I still won. Oh yeah, take that, Sooners! I won! Well, now that I... Oh my god, I have five! I have five! You can't see it! Hold on. I... Well, you can't see it. Here, I'll make my camera go down a little bit. Oops, that's not it. <laughs> Look how much money I have. <laughs> I have 562. Yeah. Rolling in the dough. I bet I can find something that will turn this machine still, on. I still can't do that. Darn it, I came here because I wanted the mystery box. Whatever that is, I can't afford it right now. It should be like $5. It's five, or wow, no. Wow, if it ain't my favorite $56. customer. $56. I'll let you get back to work. Y'all hurry back. <sighs> But it's paw pennies, it's not real money, so it doesn't count. Darn it. $562. Wait, what's... I hear a mouse. Are we gonna have to go out and, like, kill the mice? I hope not. I hope that's not my job. Alright, what else do we have to do? Uh, I haven't been po I haven't been focusing. Okay. That's done. Went to pause store and introduced myself. Put together a disaster Still have kit. to do that. Oh, I need to do that. Haven't done that. Rearrange the warning signs. Explore Check. the barn. Go to the corner. Haven't field. done that. Explore pause museum. Okay, let's finish up the disaster kit then. Why does the music get so freaking scary? Okay. That ought to do it. Yeah. I finished that disaster kit for Scott. There you nice go. job. I'm nice supposed to job. remind you to check in with Debbie. She might need you to do something else. Will do. There's always something, chat. There's always something. What's up? That's it for now. Have fun. Never mind. I take it back. That's done. Let me tell Scott that I finished, I guess. Hello, Nancy. What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the costs of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. There you go. That's why we read that article. Do you remember that interview you gave after Ma died? Nope. Why do you ask? I read it, and it seems like well, a lot has changed for you over the last few years. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, was that his mom and dad? His mom and the mom pa is his mom and dad? Maybe? You sounded much more excited about your work. Oh, never mind. Yeah, well, that's the reality of life, Nancy. You don't honestly think life gets more exciting as you age, do you? Because it doesn't. Dreams fade, hearts get broken, friends get too lost in their own lives to call. Trust me, enjoy your youth while you have it, kid, because the downhill ride, it ain't fun. That's not true. <laughs> now I see why Debbie it speaks so true. highly of you. <laughs> Optimists of a feather. Tell you what, I'll admit that you just may be right. I hope you're right. I just don't think you are. Let's switch <laughs> topics, all right? This has been a long enough trip down memory lane for the day. <laughs> I'll quit bugging you now. Don't hurry back. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna finally read this because I want to know what happened to Ma. The storm, like so many storms in this in this part of the country, came on quickly. The sky seemed to grow darker and more menacing by the second. Lightning crackled in the trees, and the storm just gusts ripped decorations from storefront windows downtown. Before the sirens even sounded, the first twister touched down. An hour later, as the first beams of sunshine broke through the dissipating clouds, a familiar cherry red pickup lay overturned in the Cooper's South Cornfield. Two days later, it would be discovered. Two days later? Most people around here simply knew her as Ma. For more, for more than three decades, Betsy o o Ox held her post behind the counter of Ma and Pa store, always ready to welcome the day with a fresh pot of coffee and the latest gossip. Oh, this is a lady I would have liked then. Yesterday, for the first time in 30 years, the shutters outside Mom and Pa's stayed closed as a devastated town began to realize the scope of its loss. 
She was the glue that held this town together, said Rose Atwater, friend and loyal Mom Paws customer. Wasn't a thing about this town she didn't know better than anyone else, and she wasn't shy about telling you that either. Customers and friends alike remember Betsy as if she were a member of the family. She sat me down the day I moved into town and asked me a million questions, said Denise Miller. What were my hobbies, where I was from, it was a real third degree. The next day my inbox was flooded with invitations from all over the county. She never admitted it, but I'm sure it was her doing. Such stories are common. Betsy's reputation as a good neighbor and tireless organizer was known throughout the state. There were no fewer than 24 clubs you can trace back to her at some point, said Dina Lohman, president of the Tulsa Organization of Community Centers. You name it, she put it together. She had this way with people that was just beyond special. A large mem memorial has appeared outside Ma and Pa's general store. In addition to heartfelt farewells to Ma, its message is simple. Hurry back, Pa, we miss you. Under the sign, hundreds of handwritten notes of encouragement have been posted by the store's patrons. I know what it's like to be in this in his position, said customer Andy Janaway. It doesn't do much good to stay cooped up at home all day. We just want him to know that we miss him. Oh, this is sad. And would like to see him again as soon as he's ready. Aww. While residents struggle with Betsy's loss, one disturbing question is beginning to emerge. Why didn't the sirens go off? Asked Resident Marianne Harrison, what good is having a warning system if no one knows how to use it? Well, it's not that simple, unfortunately, said Canute College storm researcher Scott Varnell. No one knows exactly what causes tornadoes to form. There are a lot of theories out there, but we're still years away from being able to accurately predict where the storms will touch down. No stranger to working out in the field, Varnell has made his career as one of the nation's foremost tornado experts. You may be familiar with what happened in Kearney a few years back, and that's why I'm here today. When those storms rolled in, the whole town was caught off guard. If we had been able to get advance warning, a lot of lives would have been saved. Varnell drops, <clears throat> Varnell drops a large binder of storm data on the table. I had the information to give warning for this storm, said Varnell, but I couldn't figure out what it meant in time. None of us can, yet. As a tracker, Varnell is among those responsible for giving advanced storm warnings that can sometimes mean the difference between life and death. All we have, said Varnell, is warning. There is nothing we can do once the storm is on the ground. Storm trackers, myself included, have a responsibility to make sure that what happened to Betsy never happens again. I won't stop until we have a forecasting system that truly works. Dang. That makes me sad. She was a lovely lady. That Ma. I understand why Pa's the way he is. Oh, that's so sad though. Ugh. That made me almost cry reading. I'm emotional. All right. What else do we need to do? Oh, Still warning have to sirens. Do right. Warning sirens were over here, right? Why are they letting an intern do, do something so important? <clears throat> um. Does that one, do y'all think that one's covered? Wait, I guess I have to use all of these, right? So maybe it's fine. <clears throat> Was there a specific way I need to do this? Do all of them need, oh. Did I do this right? This looks good, right, chat? Did I do it right? Let me ask her. What's up? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. Haven't done that. OK. 
Okay, I guess I did it wrong. Well, wait, how, are, how did I do it wrong? Does, oh, maybe the whole square needs to be covered? Let's do the two biggest ones first then. Substitute this one for that. And this one can have a little white one. Uh, hmm. This one's overlapping too much. Maybe there? Here? Maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe this. though but I don't even know like hmm uh, uh, maybe it's too much outside do you need to cover the I'm assuming I have to cover the whole area That looks good. This looks good. This one might be... That's good. Maybe here, and then this one goes here. Maybe we need a yellow one, no. Maybe a green one instead. Oh wait, I can't move that one. This is good. That, that's not good. Try the biggest circles where there are the least amount of pins. The least amount? Maybe, maybe this should go here then? I forgot what they said. I don't think that's right. I, th I think it's this corner and then this corner that's messed up. So maybe I can substitute like that. But then there's like this whole empty space here. great are you sure Nancy haven't done that maybe this one needs to be scooted over no only like two people will die <laughs> fair <laughs> It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I think I need a bigger one right here. And then this will cover this section. There. I 
would say this is a... Uh, can't move that yellow one, darn it. Oh, that's good. Where's a hole? Here? Here? What do I do with these tiny white ones? <laughs> ah, this is so tr this is hard. What, where should I, where should I move? I feel like that was good though. Look how much of that area covers. This green one and this yellow one, I can't move. Yeah, only a few people would die. What's the big deal? <laughs> ah. Hmm. I think that big purple one should swap with the big blue one. I think these two should swap. Oh, that's a good point. There's a section right here. Swap so that white and red one. Still a hole. What if we do... No, there's still a hole here. What about here? No, here. Yeah. Where's the hole? Here? This here? Bottom right? Oh. Oh. You're right. Ah, oh, you're right. Yeah, hole here. This one needs a red one. Hmm. Who even lives in that tiny hole? Probably me. Knowing my luck, me. How accurate does this need to be? I think Nancy Still will have probably... to do that. See, look, Nancy doesn't even say I'm done yet. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Cause I'm not doing it. Apparently. I think this looks good though. There's just gotta be maybe something to do with these green ones. Maybe these green ones aren't optimized. Oh. Is that that yellow worked? Can't check that off yet. Ah! These don't overlap. This is clearly wrong. Ah. Hmm. 
That's better. Where's the hole? Put the red one on top, right? Put a white one there. Oh, you like what I just did? But where's the hole now? Swap the green on the bottom and the yellow above it. Yeah. That's perfect. This is perfect. Where's the hole? I don't see. This looks perfect. Still have to do that. Where's the hole? Yellow and red on the bottom. Oh, swap. Oh, I see the hole. All right, that's how it should look. Yeah! Nice. That's a lot of nice circles. Yay! Did that. Did that. All right, I need to go do the sprinklers next. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Why touch it? What, what's the point? <laughs> what? Authorized operators only. Where's the sprinkler system? Now oh, this. All right, what? Ooh. All right, what do they got in store for me now? In case of power surge, system will shut down. To manually reset, open six valves to show the blue active status. Open valves cannot be in the same row, column, or diagonal line. System will come back online when valves are open correctly. The di diagonal one is what's making this tricky. You're close. I am close. I always have one. It's this one. I was like, shoot, it looks right. Ah! <laughs> First and fourth are the same diagonal and third and fifth. Uh, first, oh yeah, you're right. <sighs> Hmm. Oh, why is this so hard? 
You think you have the answer? What is, what is your answer, Ark? What do you think? Top left. One down and two to the right. Okay. Continue that move one down. Oh, I see. Wait. Then do that again, starting at the second column. Fourth row. Is this it? Oh, we're missing one. We're missing one column. Here, right? Mm. It's that last one, darn it. I think I did it wrong. Put one in the second column. Well, this one's wrong because it shares the diagonal here. Um, ugh, but it's so close. <laughs> You're so close, Ark, don't worry. I like the pattern, though. That was smart. But this darn one got us. What if we shift it down? Like, two down, two to the right. No. That was some good thinking though. So, we leave this here, then that means this one needs to be changed. But, the, but these two are basically stuck here because of the rest. Hmm. Dang it. Any other ideas, chat? We gotta fix the sprinklers for all the corn. I can reset it. Die, what die? <laughs> no. Okay, columns two, four, six, one, three, five. Okay, for each row. Sorry, what? Column two, column two. Oh, first row, second. First row, second one. Second row, fourth one. Okay, I see. Third one is the sixth one. First, third. It is a pattern! Hey, it is a pattern. It is just shifted over slightly. Woo! Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. That means the sprinklers are are on. Oh my God! The prairie dogs. Okay. 
Okay, so I think we did it. So let's. That's done. All right, let's go tell her we did everything. Chores done. Not really chores, but whatever. What's up? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. Now what do I do? I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the same. But it's still daytime. Yes. Guess I'll get going. Whatever. Should we go talk to any other people? It's late, Nancy. Go to bed. How is it late? It's daytime. Hey there. That's it for now. Bye now. I guess I guess it's just the game telling me I need to start the next day. All right, fine. Fine, I will. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. good morning. Got a few things for you today. That well, storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you sensors. put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? That's it for now. <laughs> Any chance to show Have fun. off? Alright, so sensors in the cornfield. What do they even do? It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the blue sensor. Oh, good God. Looks right. Yeah! Oh, did y'all see that I record speed? At Canute. As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. <gasps> no one is going to suspect a thing. Debbie! I don't know how I feel about this anymore. <gasps> this is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. <sighs> you're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. Hello? Grollmeister here. This Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. No, indeed. Just when were you planning on bringing me up to speed on all the goings-on out there in Tornado Alley? Sorry, I meant to call. Actually, this isn't the best time. Well, that's no excuse. In fact, it's all the more reason to call me so and keep loud? me up to the latest on all the happenings going on out there. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. You had better, Indy. I've got my hands full Indy. down here at the warehouse. I don't have time to follow up and make sure you're getting things done out there, all right? Now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little hard to read. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. First it might try. be because he wants it that way, but there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect? Right. Well, good. Don't hold back. Tell me everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutterbug? Frosty, is it? He and Debbie are plotting something. He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Plotting? How so? Well, I overheard <laughs> them talking. How they so? were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge, and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. Ooh. She, 
She wanted me to hear that, right? Didn't she tell me to come to the cornfield to fix the sensors? She knew what she was doing. She knew. Let's ask her. What's up? Never I better mind. get to work. Have fun. All right, let's go talk to Frosty. What's up? I've harassed you enough. Bye now. Don't I have to do something? Check. Select a vehicle to take on a cloud hut with Fro Oh, I have to select a vehicle. Oh, okay. A cloud hunt, you say? Let's go in the big old truck then. This Not this one. This isn't the right car. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. What are we doing? Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot. Hey! Don't forget me. That car pushed me. Okay, okay let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. Rude. You saw that, Lee? Fucking rude drivers. Hey! These people don't know how to drive. <laughs> Move. Move. Move it. There we go. This will help you identify the shots you need to take. When we get some good photos, we'll move on. Chat, we gotta figure out the cloud. This one, maybe? This one? This cloud looks like a shelf, maybe? Low horizontal cloud formation that slopes downward and away from the base of the parent. That looks like a shelf, right? Do I need to take a cam? Do I need to take a photo? I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. <laughs> what about the other one? All right, now where? Oh, this one over here? Oh, I see. We have to follow the clouds. Hello, the clouds. That's another shelf. Or I'd like to call it a mushroom. That's the idea. Keep trying. Alright, what else? So these two are done. Let's go in the bottom, bottom right. You know, I didn't always want to be a <gasps> storm photographer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I used to want to be a doctor. What changed your mind? Studying. <laughs> it's hard to stay focused on some boring little look when there's so much going on outside. That was my bad. <laughs> Studying was always hard. So That's you got true. the It's always the same cloud. This is nice, though. You've got to keep a sharp eye out, or you'll miss what's right in front of you. Alright, Frosty. Alright, let's go to these two now. Whee! Oh god. Oh god. Oh well. Dang it! 
thought I was going the right way. Oh, I'm going the opposite way. Have you ever heard of nacreous clouds? What clouds? They're the Bigfoot of clouds. Extremely rare. People used to think they didn't exist. No one has gotten a good picture of them. They're only near the North and South Poles. But they have this special way of catching the light, and from what I hear, it's amazing. It turns the whole sky red or green or yellow. I get enough money together, that's what I'm going after. How do you go after something like that? You just have to wait for it to happen. And then, well maybe, well maybe you can know, I don't know. Okay, we're, dry. we're almost there. Wait, don't, don't hit me. Ooh, those are different clouds. That's the idea, keep trying. Alright, what next? Alright, now we need to go down here. Ah! That was his so, fault. So, have you been on the business end? <gasps> Fluffy clouds. That's the idea, keep trying. Alright, did I get them all now? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got all of them. Do I have to, do I head home now? What do you think of Debbie? She seems to take her job very seriously. Yeah, that she does. Takes it a little too seriously sometimes, if you ask me. Too serious. Nobody can be too serious, sir. Did I get all the photos? The drivers are being jerks. He has to go to the South Pole, I guess. Oh, that's what he meant. Because it's only in the North and South Pole. Okay, fair, fair. It's raining. What do I do now? Still have to do that. Upload cloud photos onto Frosty's computer. What's up? How do I download the photos? Easy. Just plug the camera into the computer and do what it says. Then, if you give me a little time, I'll organize everything into folders. I've harassed you enough. Pop in any time. These all look the same. Set images wallpaper? Alright, did I do it all? I uploaded them. There you go. That's done. I did it! That's done. What's up? I've harassed you enough. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor and give this to Chase for me. I borrowed it from him. Keep forgetting to return it. Sure. A USB? Surely this isn't, a, this isn't a way to hack his computer, is it? Tom Tom, thank you for the 73 months. Thanks, How Nancy. Are you? You're the bomb. <gasps> Am I the bomb, or did you just make me give him a bomb? That doesn't make sense, but. Or is what I'm holding a bomb? I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the same. No. Yes? Guess I'll get going. Wait. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Wait, what if instead... What if I... I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the I same. What if I figure out what's on the USB? Can I not plug the USB in? I don't think I can. Wasn't there another computer here? What about this computer? Where's the, where's, the, no? Okay. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! What's up? Well, Frosty and her, Debbie's super sized. I think I Debbie wants to, to be work. the leader. Have she fun. doesn't want to be the manager. She wants to lead. She wants to lead, but she's gonna, she's doing it the wrong way. 
and I have to sleep. <gasps> this is a broadcast of the Hello? emergency is notification there? system. There have been multiple reports of a tornado touchdown in the area. All oh, listeners are advised bumps. to seek shelter until further notice. I better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there, right? Help! Help! Hello? <gasps> Who's there? Creepy Hello? person. It was a guy. It was a guy. There's the cellar. Good morning. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. Hello? Who's there? I want to go outside Hello? to see what happens. <laughs> also, hi, Lemon. We better look into that in the morning. Oh, it doesn't give me the option. Dang it, I can only be safe. <laughs> Good morning. What did you think ah. of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah, I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty, those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got noticed that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn, but you're going to have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. Got it. Great. Thank you so much. I do it myself, but I'm buried in work right now. You're a lifesaver. Literally. I don't see. I'm doing everything around here. What are you saying? All right, what was happening over here? Oh, shoot. What's this? <gasps> George University. Gorge University. Ithaca, New York. Oh, Nor New York University. Doctor. Oh, it's Debbie. Dear Debbie, it gives me great pleasure to offer you the position of assistant professor in our Department of Meteorology under the Department of Atmospheric Sciences. Sciences. This four-year term position is effective beginning the next academic year with an annual starting salary of 70K. The appointment is a 10-year track position to be reviewed at the end of the four-year term. As a faculty member of the Department of Atmospheric Sciences, you will be expected to conduct active research during the spring and summer storm seasons. Both the Atmospheres Research Lab and Severe Weather Lab has expressed interest uh and having you join their teams you may also choose to set up your own research space in collaboration with our meteorology faculty members we are also authorized to offer you reimbursement for reasonable moving expenses from canute oklahoma to ithaca new york as well as a housing supplement to help you get settled in the ithaca area please let us know in writing by may 30th whether you accept this offer we are very excited at the prospect of your joining the faculty we believe that you would be an outstanding addition to our meteorology department we look forward to hearing from you soon that's not suspicious but why was but why so so Ithaca was the other department or the other no contest contestant for the this a 100 million grant that's happening but they want her to come on board interesting interesting do you think he planted those there there was a guy here or maybe it was a girl it looked like a guy though i don't know cornell is the real university in ithaca <laughs> they had to change it <laughs> because of copyright she's Nancy, shouting hi look um she was debbie shouting. tells me it would be good for morale if i gave people around here a few attaboys every now and then so i just wanted to say you did a um, pretty Fair, fair job driving during the chase yesterday. Just a fair job? Just a fair job? Well, let's not get cocky. 
I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, when you're driving in a steady downpour, Wait, you should always... Ah! Just... Did you see that? No. Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere, and I'm sick Dag of it. Dagnabbit! So if you were wondering what your next job was going to be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. Maybe you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Ma and Pa store. Just get it done, okay? What is a Piper guy? I knew I had to get rid of the mice eventually. All right, now I need to go to Chase. Come on, I want to get off, get off, get off! Who's he talking to? How come something that makes such a mess be worth so much money? I'm never gonna get this stuff off. These are my best boots, dang it! Get out! That was a little weird. <laughs> okay. Hey there. I'm supposed to that relocate those weird. prairie dogs. I know, poor guys. How it's do I do shoes. that without hurting them? By using the handy dandy prairie dog vacuum I just invented. Won't hurt one single hair on their frail little head. Prairie dog vacuum? At least it won't after I replace this tube with a bigger one. How soon are you supposed to move them? By the end of the day. Well, then get yourself over to Ma and Pa's and trade this tube in for I'm one that's a bigger size. I'll up. set you up as soon as you get back. Great, thanks. <laughs> Anything else on your mind? Frosty asked me to return this to you. Thanks. Oh. Does he I borrow stuff was... from you a lot? Oh. Hardly ever. Him and me oh, don't exactly that's have not a ton a of stuff in common. He's the outgoing, a sophisticated type, and I'm just a simple country boy. <laughs> also, Won't let I, me forget it, neither. I got Chase and Scott confused. Anyways, I think that was a knife, right? It was a knife, right? What's Debbie's relationship to <laughs> Frosty like? Well, I always figured she didn't have much use for him. But you know, lately, seems like she and him been hanging out with each other a lot. Nothing romantic or anything like that, just, you know, talking. Sure don't know about what. I, I heard. Now. I heard Bye about now. what. All right, so we need to go get a bigger tube and, like, mice traps and stuff. Okay. And they, they told... That was weird. Chat, they told me... They told me Nancy did a good job with storm chasing. When did that happen? I don't understand. Is it, like... I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. All right. What's going on there, Nancy? I need a bigger tube for a vacuum Chase is building for me. Can you help me out? Sure, as long as you do a little something for me. What's that? Head over the snack out. You can update the display I got set up over there. Sure. That mouse trap you have in the museum, the one that lets people catch mice instead of kill them, do you think that maybe I could borrow that? That what? Well, I think I could lend it to you, sure. As long as you do a little something for me first. Always a catch. <sighs> Always a catch. You can update the tornado display I got set up over there. Just move the stuff on it around till it compares the old Vegeta way of saying how bad a twister is. You know, F1, F2, F3 and such. Oh, until maybe it that's correctly what it was compares Lulu. that scale to the new one. You know, the enhanced Vegeta scale. EF1, True. EF2, and EF3, and the like. The scale they switched over to a couple years back. You might have to do a little reading, but you can do that for me in return for the mousetrap, right? No problem. That a girl. No problem. No problem. I think I should probably stop here, even though I don't want to stop. All right, get tube and mouse trap. All right, hopefully that reminds me what I need to do. Uh, it's easy to get sucked into games like this. It is, because they tell you, like, you have to do this, 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 this. All right, also, let's see. Uh, snack display and tornado scale. Save. All right, that'll help me. 